Hello everyone and welcome to a 28th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Um, as promised, uh, this tutorial is going to be about something called continue statements. And um, this is actually uh, not a piece of cake to explain or to understand either. So uh, you just gotta pay attention and uh, listen to what I say. And my first demand is that you create uh, a new source file. And actually, to save some time, I'm just going to put the video on pause right now, type in the required information, because, you know, I have a feeling this is going to take some time. So, um, I'll see you after the pause. And now I am back. So, uh, first of all, you are going to declare a local variable called i, with its data type int, and set it equal to zero. Now, you say create a while loop, while true. And um, actually, you might th think like it's a little strange that you know, uh, usually inside the two parameters in a, a while loop, uh, what you type is the term of this loop to run. So, how can true be a term? So, we're saying that as long as true is true and you know true will always be true, then do this. Now, type i to uh, incre increment i by 1 each time this loop is being repeated. Now type if i equals equals 5 continue. Okay, so what we're actually doing here is we create a never ending loop because you know uh, true will always be true, so we'll always do this until the uh, the program is being terminated. So uh, the first uh, thing this loop does is to increment i by 1. And then it also has a checkpoint that checks for each time the loop is being iterated, it checks for, okay, is i equals to 5? If it is, then call the continue keyword. And what this keyword actually does is that it'll skip everything typed below this statement. Below this statement right here will be skipped and uh, therefore it'll go uh, directly to the next iteration. So, you know, it'll skip all actions typed uh, below this statement and then it'll start the loop all over again. And uh, I'm going to explain that once more once we have our um, final application done. So now type else if i equals equals 11. Break. So uh, now once uh, i is equal to 11, it'll break off this loop, which means that it'll exit the loop, even though this term uh, will never be fulfilled. Then it'll break off the loop, and that's what I told you in the um, last tutorial. Now I'm going to hear type cr i end line. Now I just hit f9, save this file as um, continue. Um, underscore break file or exist uh, all right yes now as you see it says one two three four one two three four six seven eight nine ten now you may think like uh, what the hell uh, this computer can't count what the fuck did I just made a virus on my own computer or anything uh, because apparently it doesn't count right well, you're right, it doesn't count right, but uh, don't worry, this is not a virus tutorial on how to screw up your own computer. Um, I'm not that evil, but um, what it actually does is that, you know, once it hits 5, it'll go, it'll skip this, and uh, you know, it uh, skips this before it even prints out 5, because you know, uh, the, it has actually something to do about what order it's typing, you know. The first uh, thing this loop does is to increment i by 1. And then it checks for if it's 5, then skip all of this. And you know, uh, if this is being skipped, then it will not print out the value of i, which will be 5. If this term up here, if this term up here is true, then I'll be equal to 5. But continue, skips this, and therefore 5 is never printed out. So actually, this um, this thing right here uh, skips five. Now, if you try and uh, change this to something like nine and hit uh, F9, 
you'll see that it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 10 because now it skips uh, 9 so um, actually I'm just going to uh, to explain why you see it doesn't print out 11 either you see it just says 10 and that's because that again uh, the first thing this loop does is to increment i by 1 and uh, then uh, when uh, i is being uh, incremented by uh, from 10 to 11 it will break off this statement, it will break off the loop before it prints out 11 because you know it breaks it off and then just uh, after the loop has been breaking off this uh, will happen and you know this will not happen if the loop is being uh, is uh, if the loop is being cut off which is this here so you know before it even prints out 11 the loop will be have been exited so um, I really hope that uh, this tutorial has learned you something and that you understood this uh, thing about um, continue statements if you didn't then uh, send me a private message or put a comment in my video below or something I don't know just contact me and I'll do the best I can to explain this uh, to you um, so uh, I'll just see you in my next tutorial. Da -da 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 -da.